wabarakatuh and a very good evening. Well, I just finished my class, my public speaking class. I'm Miss Nabila, you'll be seeing this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, this is my vlog. My vlog today, I wanted to talk about traveling in Malaysia. Malaysian love to travel abroad, outside of Malaysia. Without thinking that Malaysia itself can be the, their destination for their travel. So, there's actually three aspects on why Malaysian choose to go abroad other than travel in Malaysia. So, the first aspect is the mountains. They wanted to see natural mountains that are beautiful and that are uh, very good in view. And the second aspect is the caves. So, they prefer to go on a man-made cave or uh, maybe they prefer to see like a natural cave and the third reason is the architectural building outside of Malaysia that's all so we go to the first aspect next actually go abroad to see mountains that is beautiful in nature such as the New Zealand well they go there because of the film Hobbit have you watched Hobbit and then you know what I'm talking about other than that they would rather go to the Alps or even the Everest or Nepal so so yeah they actually forgot that we have the tallest mountain in Southeast Asia is Gunung Kinabalu which located in Kota Kinabalu in Sabah also we have Gunung Lang in Ipoh which I will show you uh, a bit of the video after this the second aspect is the cave people actually go to Vietnam all the way to Vietnam to go see the biggest cave that is there well it is big because it has its own ecosystem in the cave itself. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, as you know, Malaysia have Batu Cave, a religious place where the Hindus would go to every year. Other than that, in Ipoh, I've been, I've been there, I will show you a bit of a clip. That's actually Gua Kek Lutong, where it hides the paradise, the inner paradise of the cave. So, we came to our last aspect, which is the architecture building. So, as you can see around this place, you can see the architecture building of Uahi, the place where I'm from. So, now back to our topic. So, uh, people actually go to England, far to England, to Singapore and other places just to see their traditional or their conceptual or their colonized building but people didn't expect that we as Malaysian in Malaysia itself have our own building this kind of building if you, get, uh, if you look at Penang the colonization that happened in Pulau Penang itself was remarkably beautiful such as in Georgetown and we have in Ipoh our train station, K uh, KTM station. Marvelous! <laughs> I don't know how to express it, but it's marvelous. It's, it's just beauty inside and outside. It preserves the beauty. So, I guess that's it for my vlog. I've done this vlog and I hope not to do it again, but who knows, maybe I like it. And I hope you get the benefit of this. I mean, we love nature, so act like one. Go to Malaysia. I mean, do your own research. Go travel around here. We have a lot of states. We have Perak, we have Penang, we have Sabah, Sarawak. I think most of the peninsula Malaysia doesn't yet have been reached to Sabah and Sarawak. So, inshallah, we go there. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and that's it. Thank you.